iOS 17 is now out with a lot of great new features. And in this video, I just wanna show you how to upgrade to iOS 17. Now this video may not be for you, but this video is for somebody who maybe hasn't done it in quite a while, maybe somebody who's new to iPhone, or maybe somebody who's just a little apprehensive or anxious about doing the upgrade. So I'm gonna walk you step-by-step -step through the full upgrade process so you can see how it goes and what to expect. Now luckily, iOS 17 is available for quite a few iPhones, all the way from the 10R and up, and from the SE2 and up. So that means if you have an iPhone 10R, an iPhone 11 or 11 Pro, 12, 12 Pro, 13, 13 Pro, 14, 14 Pro, you are able to upgrade to iOS 17. Now, before we do the upgrade, there are a couple of very important things that I want to point out. And the first one is going to be making sure you have a backup. The overall upgrade process for updating iPhones and iPads is pretty good. I haven't really had any issues in the last number of years, so it's a pretty solid experience, but there are things that can happen and something could go wrong. So the thing that you wanna do is make sure you have a good backup. And so to do that, we're gonna go into settings. At the top, you're gonna to click on your name, that's your iCloud profile. And then we're gonna click on iCloud. And here you're going to click on iCloud backup. Now you wanna make sure that you have the latest backup possible, just in case you do run into any issues, you wanna be able to restore your phone as it is right now. Now this is where you're gonna click backup now. If you haven't done a backup with your iPhone, in a while. If you just did one today, you're probably fine. So if you need to do a backup, click backup now and wait until that completes. Now, the second thing that you're gonna to wanna to check is your free space on your iPhone. And to do that, you're gonna go all the way back to settings. You're gonna click on general and then iPhone storage. And here you're gonna see how much storage your iPhone is currently using. As you can see, I have quite a bit of free space available on this iPhone 12 Pro. However, if you have a smaller storage option iPhone, like 64 gigabytes, then you may have used most of the space available and you might have to actually offload some of the apps. Now that's easy to do. You can just go ahead and select on a very big app and click offload app. And what that's gonna do is essentially remove the application from your device, but keep your settings and your data and everything else that's part of that app on the iPhone. And that just allows you to reinstall the application later once you're done doing whatever you're doing. So by doing that, I was able to offload a couple of gigabytes right there. So now I would say that you probably want about five gigabytes available so that you have room for the download and for the expansion of that package and the actual installation. And once you are done cleaning up any space if needed on your iPhone's local storage, you're now ready to go ahead and do the update. So we're gonna go back again to the main settings, go to general and software update, and here it's gonna load your update options. Now, if you're running a version of iOS 16 before 16.6.1 .6 as of today, which is September 19th, then you may actually have an iOS 16 update pending up here as well. And you do have the option to just go ahead and stick with iOS 16 for the time being, if that's what you wanna do. But then you're gonna see down here, upgrade to iOS 17. And that's where we're gonna click. And here it's gonna tell you, hey, there's some great updates that come with iOS 17, like standby and airdrop and name drop and a number of different things. Actually, I have a video on my top five favorite features of iOS 17 that you can check out right over here. Definitely check that out if you have not seen it. And then we're just going to hit download and install. You need to type in your passcode and now accept the terms and conditions. I agree. And now the download is going to start. Now this process can actually take quite a long time and you just don't know how long it's going to take. So now's a good time to take a break and go stretch your legs or go for a walk or go do the laundry or something else and just come back to the iPhone a little bit later, maybe 20 or 30 minutes. And that's because the time to update is going to vary for every single person and device. There are lots of variables involved, including internet speed or network congestion or just the age of your device or how much stuff you have on the device. And that's again where freeing up space can actually help the install. So I went ahead and started a stopwatch on my Apple Watch just to see how long this is going to take. My guess is it's going to be around 30 minutes. So let's see. And there we have it. The iPhone has completed the update to iOS 17 in about 28, 29 minutes. So you definitely need to make sure you set aside some time to do the update because it probably won't be very fast. Now there are gonna be just a couple other questions to finish the setup. So we'll just go ahead and swipe up here, we'll type in our passcode. And there we go, it says software update is complete. We'll hit continue. It's asking me to set up Face ID because I haven't done it on this phone. So I'll just say set up later. It's letting you know that Siri has been upgraded and you no longer, if you want to, you don't have to say the hey before the S. You can just say S, do this thing. Continue and welcome to iPhone. And that is it. So now there's going to be some apps that might not be updated just yet for iOS 17 
Like it looks like this weather bug widget is not updating correctly for iOS 17. So we'll just have to wait for some app updates to roll in, but we can verify that we're on iOS 17 by going into settings, general, about, and here you can see that we are on iOS version 17. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful and kind of gave you an overview and let you know what to expect if you're doing the upgrade for the first time ever, you're new to iPhone, or you're just anxious about doing that. As you saw, it's a pretty simple process. So just make sure you do a backup at the beginning so that you have a good backup in case something does go wrong and make sure you have enough free space to do the actual update. And there are so many great updates with iOS 17, like updates to Siri and updates to CarPlay and the standby mode and shared passwords, offline maps, and more. All kinds of great things, and I'm curious what you guys think of the new features of iOS 17. If you want to see what I think my top five features are of iOS 17, check out this video right over here. It's a good one. But before you do that, hit the thumbs up button if you liked it. Hit subscribe if you want, and I'll see you next time.